Okay, here we are back with the old uh, Walco WM180 lathe. And um, I just wanted to do a quick video on this um, latest attachment that I've manufactured for it. Let's go and have a quick look at this. I think we'll zoom in on that. Yeah. There you go. Uh, here we go, this is it. It's a tool post drilling attachment. <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna explain how I made that. Um, it's not my idea. Um, it's just, this is the way I've done it. Um, but my inspiration came from three of the uh, YouTube channels that I subscribe to, um, Rob's X Y N U D U, um, Aid Over Aids Workshop, and Steve Jordan, and I'll I'll put links to their channels in in the description below. But um, uh, yeah, they 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 they've done versions of this, and they're all excellent. But I, I figured that there was a bit of a simpler way we could probably do it, and this is this is what I've come up with. Now to, to get this to actually work, there's a couple of other items you will need. Um, obviously, you need the um, the, the mini uh, drill chuck, uh, which I shall show you in more detail in a minute. You need the flexible drive and you need some sort of electric uh, drill to drive it. I mean, I've got a Hilda. Uh, all of this is available from Banggood and I'll put links in the description below, uh, as is the uh, tool, uh, drill clamp, which you can see that the, the drill is mounted in. Um, but uh, it's all very cheap. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Even the Hilda doesn't cost a lot of money um, and uh, it's well worth investing in. Um, but anyway, I'll, uh, I'll show you how I got to this, um, this, this step, this stage, uh, next. Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, both Aid and Steve made tool post mounted drills for their lays and the both setups are excellent. Mine's just a simpler version really of the one that Aid produced. Um, uh, basically what you start off with is you need a block of aluminium, which is what this is obviously. Uh, this is 100 mil by 100 mil by uh, 50. Uh, then you drill using your drill press. You put a 10 mil hole through it. Uh, you have to recess the bottom because it, there's a shoulder on the tool post. So that allows you to mount the block on to the tool post like so. Uh, square it up so that it's everything is completely square um, and then just clamp it down. Now, in order to take the mini chuck, you need to bore a one inch hole through the middle of the block. Now, um, I basically did this by um, uh, drilling successively larger holes up until 13 mil, which is the largest size drill bit I've got. And then I used this um, one inch uh, end mill cutter to bore the hole. Um, now, I thoroughly recommend you get yourself one of these Anyway, it's an incredibly useful bit of kit. Even if you haven't got a mill, you can use this on the lathe and it, it really is really, really useful. Um, now, the end mill is not long enough to go all the way through the block, but it doesn't matter because I intend, fully intended to cut a lump out here um, to allow, you only need the handle part of the mini chuck in there so that the actual fat part at the top here, this bit, I wanted it to be, uh, a protrude so i drilled the board hole as far as I, I needed to and then uh obviously the fact that you're doing it on the tool post means that it's perfectly aligned with the center of the lathe chuck so whatever goes in this hole is going to be perfectly central with regard to that um and then i basically used a uh let's take it off again after boring the hole uh, I basically used the end mill uh, to clean up the hacksaw faces. Um, <laughs> basically to do this, I don't have a milling machine, so um, you have to be a bit inventive. Uh, and I basically clamped it to the tool post and then used the end mill, as I said, to clean up the faces. Um, now, that's pretty much all the work you need to, to do on the block. Um, Put, put it back on. 
Now, I then drilled and tapped a couple of 6BA, 6BA, 6 millimeter uh, holes on the center line of the bore to hold the uh, mini drill chucker in place. Now, it was a bit of a tight fit. So uh, as you can see, I've slightly skimmed this and on the lathe and taken the anodizing off and it now fits, it now fits in the, uh, where it's supposed to go. Let's tighten it up first. Very nicely. There you go. And then you st I've just used a couple of uh, six mil uh, cap head screws to lock it in place. Very simple. I need to knit those up. And uh, then to uh, basically finish it off, I've put a tiny little terry clip uh, on the top here, just so I don't use the, lose the chuck key for the for the for the mini vice, the mini chuck. Okay, let's see it in action then. There you go. One perfectly good hole right through the center of the bar. Perfect. And of course, obviously you can turn the tool post so you can drill through at angles and this would be perfect for me for doing things like um, uh, drilling um, holes in flywheels for set screws, grub screws and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, very, very uh, useful addition to to the lathe and 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 its uh, its function um and also reasonably cheap the block of aluminium cost me about uh, 15 pounds i think um the mini chuck and flexible drive i think they were around about 19 pounds the bench clamp for the um for the Hilda was about 12 pounds and all of that's currently on Banggood. I'm not quite sure what the Hilda's going for. I think they're about 30 pounds now, but anyway, you know, this is a very, the Hilda's a very useful tool uh, and, and well worth having. But um, yeah, for, for a relatively small outlay and not an awful lot of machining, you can get yourself a very, very useful um, addition to your tool post. So anyway, there you go. I thought you guys might find that useful. So uh, hope you did and uh, thanks very much for watching.